Hello everyone, welcome again to Tech UK and another racing rig review, this time by Track Racer. So let's get on with today's video. So the lovely people at Track Racer contacted me a little while ago and asked me if I would like to review one of their racing rigs. Already having an aluminium profile rig, I wanted something a little bit different, so I had a look through their website and I noticed the TR8. So on their website, this is the TR8, and you can see it looks a really nice rig, and it's very different to an aluminium profile rig. If anything, it's more similar to the Sparco rig that I used to have. I'm also having a rally seat with it, so it's going to look something like that. But again, I wanted something a little bit different, and all of my rigs, pretty much all of them, have been black in the past. So I chose the option of grey. I think it looks cool, and I cannot wait to get it set up. I will film at various stages throughout the rig build and let you know how easy it is to put together, what the instructions are like, and then of course we'll get the seat and the monitor fitted up as well, and we'll start playing some racing games. The first thing I thought I'd get out is the racing seat. This is called their rally seat, and I must say, straight out of the box, I'm very, very impressed with the finish. It's very light. It's a fiberglass frame. The covering and stitching is all looking good. This is looking very promising. I thought I'd just show you this piece just to show you the contrast between the grey and the black and this actually comes as one piece in the box. I haven't had to assemble any of this. I think the grey is a little bit darker than it shows on their website but I think the contrast between the two colours is going to look cool. I've got the second part out of the box as well and as you can see it comes pretty much pre-assembled. Once we bolt these two together that's going to be the base of the rig in less than five minutes so I'm very very impressed with that and it's a nice refreshing especially after building aluminium profile rigs where every single thing needs to be bolted together this is quite refreshing. Here we have the two pieces bolted together I've also put the pedal set on there and the bracket for the steering wheel. One thing to note, you don't get any written instructions inside the box. There is a leaflet of a QR code which will take you to the website with the latest instructions. Once you go to the website, you've got the instructions there and they're all nice and clear. One thing that I did find strange is that there's a lot of steps in the instructions that you don't actually have to do. Like at the start of the video, I showed you the first two sections that are already pre-installed. Well, in the instructions, it shows you how to put them together. But other than that, they're all lovely and clear and easy to follow. It's starting to take shape now with the racing seat and the steering wheel deck installed. Also, this model comes with a monitor mount. It's optional, you don't have to use it, but it does come with the setup. So for space saving, you can have a monitor mounted directly to the rig. There's my monitor connected. It's a 32 inch monitor. My only concern at this stage is that that is actually as low as the monitor bracket will go. I've raised the seat up as much as I possibly can. At this stage, it does seem a little bit higher, but I'm yet to put the steering wheel on and we're going to do that next. At the back of the monitor, there's also a small shelf bracket. You'll be able to fit a games console or a very small PC. I've installed the Thrustmaster T248 and it really does look nice. I love the lines of the TR8. I love the grey contrast with the black seat and the black pedals, etc. This is looking like a really nice, actually quite compact racing rig. A handbrake or shifter bracket is usually an added extra with most rigs, but in the Track Racer TR8, it actually comes included. An additional extra that you can purchase is the tablet and button box mount. This can be mounted various points throughout the rig, and I've just put it here for demonstration purposes, and it's holding just a monitor and a button box. But if you are a streamer, or for example, you just want to do some relaxing trucking and have a second screen for watching Netflix, for example, this could be an ideal solution. It's also, once the bracket is mounted, it's removable so you can pull it straight out. So I've been in the rig for a couple of hours now. Here I am just hot lapping Nautschleifer and GT Sport, just getting used to the rig in general. I must say I love this seat. If I compare it to my rather expensive Sparco racing seat, you know, in terms of value for money, this is a beautiful seat. It's very comfortable. It keeps you in place. I like the two-tone material, the sort of faux leather and the sort of suede felt material. It is very, very nice. And I could easily use this as my full-time racing seat. There's a nice bit of adjustment on the rig as well. With regards to the steering wheel deck, that can be moved towards you and tilted up and down. Again, with the seat, if you want to lower that back so you're sitting in a more of a sort of GT position. And the pedals as well can be tilted up so they're a lot higher. There's quite a bit of adjustment here. 
I love the way the frame sort of flares out. It's got an almost car aesthetic frame about it. And the seating position, as you can see here, is all nice. Everything's all comfortable. It's great having the monitor connected up to the rig. I think that's a big selling point of this. And it's quite a small monitor mount as well. If you compare it to some that stand external to the rig, you know, there can be quite a bit of framework just for your monitor mount. Well, with here, it's one tube and the monitor's connected. One of the weaknesses of a tubular frame I've experienced in the past is quite a weak pedal deck. But you can see here, I'm using the brake, using the accelerator, nothing's moving, there's no flex. It feels very, very strong. I do like the contrast between the grey and the black and I think aesthetically if you are going to have this on show in your house, a conservatory, a dining room, a bedroom, I think it's got quite a minimalistic look to it and it's compact with the way that the monitor's built into the unit as well and if you look at my eye line Actually, the monitor is quite nicely positioned. The steering wheel isn't covering or obscuring the bottom of the screen. It's actually not as high as I first thought. Let's head over to the Track Racer website and see how much this all costs. If you already had a racing seat of some sort and you just wanted the actual rig with the shifter bracket, with the monitor bracket, it's £520. Now, I think that's actually quite value for money. And, of course, it does come in black or in grey. The only thing I would say about the grey, that actually on screen looks more white than what I've got here in person, which is obviously grey. But I think in the picture, that actually looks white. And I think a white frame might even look better than the grey frame. But... That's what it looks like on the website, but in the video is what you're actually going to get in terms of the shade of grey. If you wanted a seat, you could choose the GT seat, adding £307 to the price, making it a final cost of £827. I like the aesthetic of the GT seat, I like the head support, it looks fast, it looks sporty, and it really does add to the package, and that's £827. If you wanted the seat that I've shown you in the video, that's called the rally seat. And the final price for that with the rig as well is $799. I'd have absolutely no problem recommending the rally seat. If you wanted something a little bit more comfortable on your back, something you could recline and adjust more, they do do a recline seat. And the final price for that is $726. If you wanted to add to the cost, you could buy the tablet and button box holder and that's £89. In this video, I base the prices on pounds, but I will leave a link to the Track Racer website in the description below so you can go to your region and get your currency. I've really enjoyed using the rig and putting it together was so easy, probably the easiest rig I've ever assembled. And I think it's a great alternative aesthetically to an aluminium profile rig. You can buy some wheels on the website to put on the base so you can just wheel this around where you want it. I think overall, I'm extremely impressed with it. If I had to gripe about one thing in the package, it probably would be the monitor mount. As you saw in the video, it's not as high as I first thought, but that is at its lowest point. I would like some kind of adjustment that we could bring it down if we wanted to. The other problem is the way it connects to the bracket on the rig itself. You can see the sort of two grommet screws at the front and at the back, but there isn't any at the side. So however hard you tighten those screws, you're still going to get a little bit of movement left to right in the bracket. So that is my review for the Track Racer TR8 racing rig. If you are thinking of buying a rig for the first time or replacing your old one, I hope this video has been of use to you. Before you go, I would love you to check out my hardware review playlist and I'll leave this video here. This is my full review for the steering wheel that I used in this video, the Frostmaster T248. That is it everyone. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.